Happy Wine Wednesday. So today I actually want to talk about one of the vineyards um, that we have under the Boisset collection. Um, and I want to talk about them, one, because they were just recognized for their amazingness. And two, a couple weeks back, I actually um, ran into a guy here in D.C. who had just gotten back from tours, tours of wineries all over the world. And one of his stops was actually at Deloge. So we bonded over a bottle of wine, of course, and talked about that. So I kind of want to talk about them. And I have two bottles that I want to talk about specifically. One is the Pinot Noir from the Santa Lucia um, Highlands. And so this one comes from grapes that are planted along the mountain range there. So it's at like a, a thousand feet elevation. Cool climate gives it like this super bright acidity. Like it's absolutely delicious. Um, on the nose, you get some strawberry and some cherry. On the mouth, you get raspberry and dark plum. And what's kind of special about this one is it's partially fermented in open wooden containers. So that's like kind of interesting. I gotta be honest, I don't know that much about it, but it's something I'm gonna look into. So stay tuned for that. Um, this wine you can actually pair with salmon. So shout out to all your salmon lovers, mom. Um, and you can also pair it with duck, your Gouda, cheddar cheeses, um, cherry sauces. And also, I had it with a sun-dried pasta, and it was amazing. I'm not usually one that believes you have to pair wine with food, but in this case, those two things were like fire in my mouth, but not burning, just delicious. Um... <laughs> So yeah, there's that. And then we also have a Pinot Noir Rosé from Sonoma Valley. Actually, drinking that right now. Don't judge me. It's Wine Wednesday. Okay, so this Rosé is from the Sonoma Coast. Um, the grapes are Pinot Noir. It's sustainably farmed and it comes from the grapes, the Pinot Noir grapes come from fog influenced vineyards. So this is really kind of like an ideal growing environment for these grapes. Um, on the smell you get like, you get a lot of raspberry and strawberry, which I really like, but don't get that confused with this being like a sweet wine. It is, um, in my opinion, sweeter, but it's like a dry sweet, right? So on the mouth, you get like a Rainier cherry, which I found out I love this year, by the way. I had no idea. A um, little bit of a cranberry. And they say there's like a hint of rose water. I get that a little bit, but I sometimes think I only get that because I read that I was supposed to get that. So jury's out. Um, you can pair this with shrimp, crab, grilled chicken, which is usually what I have it with. I've yet to have it with crab, but as a Marylander, I definitely will have to check that out. Um, Havarti cheeses, couscous quiche, because when you brunch, you should brunch with rosé. It's only right. So yeah. Oh, so the Deloche Pinot Noir, that retails at $50. The Pinot Noir rosé re retails at $24. But if you are a Wine Society member, you get a discount on those. I think the rosé is around 19 and the Pinot Noir actually comes down to like 40 So just message me if you have any questions about that. Um, so Deloche Vineyards. I want to talk about them a little bit, and I made a couple of notes. So they um, are seen as a pioneered producer and grower in Sonoma Valley, Sonoma Russian River Valley for Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Zinfandel. And the Deloche family actually came over from France in the 17th century, and they have been making wine since the 1970s. Um, a lot of their wines uh, are made... Um, the, <laughs> um, so they make from the... Bur Burgundy technique, and a lot of them are limited production. So they're actually super special, generally highly rated, and just overall amazing. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. I will put the link below to um, 
our page that lets you know more about this specific vineyard. And happy Wine Wednesday!